guys know we'll hear in it is Saturday night and while wife and baby are asleep thought it would be fun to do the usual a video game review for the video game section of the YouTube channel and today we are going to be doing a part two of the last video that we uploaded last time on the channel we reviewed rival schools United by Fates arcade disc on the Sony PlayStation so today we will be reviewing disc number two, the Evolution Disc, or as it was known in Japan, quite simply, Rival Schools 2. You know, uh, I remember when I was in school, uh, it feels like just the other day. Our wacky neighbor Will Smith is still here, but, uh, hey Will, you want some of my soda? Yes, get busy! Okay, so <laughs> without further ado, uh, let's uh, forget that that happened. Uh, let's get down to reviewing some Rival Schools disc number two on the one and only Sony PlayStation. All right, so we will turn our speaker up just a bit, hit our lights, grab our controller. And get down to it. This should look familiar. This is the anime opening that we saw last time. It is still present in the Rival Schools Evolution Disc. As stated earlier, this game was sold as a separate game in Japan, whereas in the United States, this was bundled in a two-disc pack for a uh, not a bad price at all. Uh, Rival Schools was a great value. So, you all know that it comes down to one word, justice, and that is all we need. Rival Schools, united by fate. Uh, this disc, incidentally, includes a lot of fun bonus things you can do. Not just the fighting game. You can play soccer, you can play baseball, and you can also play volleyball. Very cool stuff. And you can go to the nurse's office and get a massage with the help of your Rumble Pack controller. Sadly, there was a uh, omission in the English version of this game. There was also a dating simulator you could play in addition to playing the greatest 3D fighting game ever made. This is Rival Schools. Uh, disc number two, the Evolution Disc. Apparently, Capcom just did not want to translate all the text of the dating simulator. So, we will hit start like so. And we see now we have things that are unlocked. Uh, this review is just going to be for one player content, since I'm only one person and, uh, no one wants to play this game with me. So, we will uh, be looking at the one player material here. Now, if we want to go into the extras, we can look at movies. Like this very cool behind-the-scenes footage of the cast of Rival Schools. So, heartwarming. You know, I, I for one am very sad that uh, we don't have sitcoms and this kind of uh, fun hilarity on our primetime television as much as we used to in the 1980s and 90s. There's Sakura.
apparently uh, they don't like Rizo's uh, script, which uh, I guess that was uh, Rival School's the director's cut. So uh, there, he's apparently trying to uh, get Batsu to come back uh, by, uh, I don't know, buttering him up. Um, you can also watch the staff roll, which you can see if you beat the game. You can also go to Kyoko's office, and this is what I was telling you about here. And uh, it's just essentially you can <laughs> basically have the uh, rumble pack vibrate um, and just, I don't know, in different different methods, the controller shakes in different ways. I mean, this is kind of creative uh, use of the rumble pack built into the PlayStation controller. So, I don't know, you can't really have the controller through the video, but... Rest assured, it was rumbling. And you get this very cool gallery mode here where you get to look at all the cool artwork that uh, is used for the loading screens. This is fantastic stuff. It's incredibly beautiful. And uh, it really makes you appreciate the fact that <laughs> this game has to load because if it wasn't for that, you wouldn't get a chance to see all this very, very cool artwork that is not just fun to look at, but is inspirational for me as someone who likes to draw in this kind of style. Um, it definitely gives you something to strive toward and uh, something to enjoy at the same time. Sakura. So we're not going to go through all 50, but you get 50 very cool designs that end up getting used for loading screens in this disc. Uh, and these uh, also get used in the first disc as well, but there's um, more in this disc, I believe. Yeah, this is fantastic stuff here. I know I said we weren't going to go through all 50, but I'm just literally tempted to go through these because I'm enjoying looking at them so much. And if I'm liking it, you will probably be liking it. These are the additional characters that are added to the Evolution disc. And quite frankly, I think they're pretty unmemorable, but maybe you like them. So, there we have it. Those are all 50, so I said we weren't going to look at them, and we ended up looking at them anyway. Um, let's take a, a quick uh, look at this. Uh, this is my favorite minigame on here. It is the home run mode, and it's uh, essentially a, a very nice-looking uh, home run derby uh, baseball game you can play. So this disc has great value to it. Oh, shoot. I hit X instead of square. Sorry about that. Get out of there. Ah, oh, it's a little short. I love how in the background we see uh, Street Fighter Alpha 3 and Resident Evil. As the sponsors of uh, this baseball park here. Get out of there. Oh, almost. That should do it. Oh, man. Visually, this looks fantastic. Yeah. It's going to be short. Mm, I don't I don't know how many pitches I get for this here. But it's really fun to play. Uh, I am not good at the uh Soccer stuff, but I'll show you that as well. There you go. So there's your baseball simulator. Uh, you get um, two soccer uh, simulators where you're basically being a goalie and a kicker in penalty kick mode. I'm going to show you this volleyball uh, with Natsu, which is pretty fun. You're essentially just hitting different, uh, different giant chibi faces of <laughs> various characters in the game here, and timing your timing your volleyball energy. Ah, not very good. I haven't put as much time into these mini games as I have in other things on this uh, disc, because I basically just play the fighting game. But this stuff is really cool, too. Yeah, 
I could definitely see being a fan of this game in Japan and buying this just for the mini games and extra anime movies and whatnot. But the fact that you got these two discs and one in the United States is a lot better. Well, the Japanese box art looks really cool. So I recommend looking that up online. I lost some points because I hit that Rizo face. Ah, that's no good. I don't know. These games are just kind of fun to mess around with. I haven't really mastered them, but you get the idea. So, let's actually... Um, I'll show you a really quick shot of the soccer here, and then we'll get down to some gameplay. These soccer games are essentially identical. Just one is your kicking... Uh, little score things in a goal and the other you are trying to score on a goalie which I'm not very good at and in this one and in this one you also get to play goalie too so get a get a feel for that and I'll show you this other one very quickly, just so you get a, just so you get a feel for all the fun things you can do on the Rival Schools Evolution Disc, in addition to playing a very cool fighting game. So basically, you have your aiming with your D-pad, and you just are basically trying to hit these score things here. So, you get the idea here. So, rather than watching me suffer at this, let's just get down to some fighting here. But fun mini games you can play nevertheless. So, I'll go to the one player game. And you'll notice our character select screen looks different. Uh, it looks more like a conventional fighting game screen. And in addition to our regular uh, disc one characters we now have different versions of Hinata Natsu these new characters we have a uh, new costume Tiffany new Kyoko and new Hayato these new versions of uh, these characters here basically just have different outfits and their uh, super moves are different but other than that they are the same uh, for the purposes of this review let's choose Sakura and Bowman who are really two of my favorite characters in this game now, um, there is no uh, real dialogue scenes in this game. It's basically just like a regular fighting game. So it's not like in Disc 1 where you had this big dramatic story mode. Um, the story mode is implied, but uh, there's no voice acting. This level is fantastic. And so now we are seeing Sakura. You know, looking... Uh, all polygonal as opposed to how she did in Street Fighter Alpha 2 and 3. She plays much the same, but has these gigantic Shinku Hadoukens, which uh, are quite impressive in 3D. Let's go, Bowman! Backbreaker! Martinet! I love this gym level. This is a fantastic level, and hopefully you can uh, appreciate how nice this music is to, as well. I don't want to put it too loud because I don't want to wake up the family. But uh, Bowman is a boxing character with uh, some kicks, but he he's a, essentially uses punches here. Kamisama Amen. As stated in the previous video, uh, Bowman is a is a pastor, so he is uh, of the uh, evangelical persuasion, and uh, uses his love of the Lord and love of his uh, school to uh, fight crime of uh, you know kidnapping students from his respective high school. Justice High School, the evil prestigious school, is behind this. Uh, the 
nefarious force behind the kidnappings is not actually revealed completely in this game. Um, Hayo is the final boss. He's going to be, here's a spoiler, Kyosuke's brother. But uh, and if you watch the ending credits, it appears as though there is a bigger bad guy behind him who is uh, misleading him into doing bad things. But uh, I uh, have never played the American version of Project Justice, the sequel to this, so I don't really know the story of the sequel to Rival Schools. I've played it in Japanese, but I don't read Japanese, so I couldn't really tell what was going on. So we will continue on with Sakura. Round two, fight! Shinku Hadoken! I love, once again, that lightning bolt that uh, comes down when you both do a attack at the same time. It is just like something out of Dragon Ball. Again, the gameplay is incredibly fluid. All your favorite levels and more levels are on this disc. So you really uh, can have a lot of fun playing Rival Schools if you enjoyed the arcade mode. Um, continuing on with all the fun fun aspects of the uh, actual gameplay minus the detailed story on this disc. And I, because I like the story so much, I usually end up playing the arcade disc more, but this is also extremely fun to play. And, uh, you know, I play both these quite a bit. Team up technique finish. And we have won that round. Now, because of the lack of story, we do get to zip through this quite a bit uh, more quickly uh, than in the uh, arcade disc, where we, for the purposes of our review, went through and saw a lot of dialogue. So we'll see how far we get for this review, but we did watch a lot of mini-games. Okay. Now we're fighting Kiyosuke and Roy. The, team, the teams on this are um, not grouped according to school on the evolution disc. Shinku Hadouken! Again, really nice effects in the background in addition to the pulsating uh, synth pop music in the background. Yeah, Sakura's uh, long drop, uh, you know, long um, head stomping uh, drop kick is a really great tool to use when you use Sakura. With that burning vigor attack finish. Sakura is maybe the best character in this game. But I'm also partial to the uh, protagonist team. Yeah, Bowman's got that fading uh, punch combo. And uh, Roy, he li literally fights like a combination of King from King of Fighters and Ken. Shh, I think I beat him to it. Yep. Now check out uh, my team up move I can do. Ah, shoot, can't fucking get it. Got it. It's kind of like a raging demon with Sakura. There we go. So she essentially has like a kind of a positive version of Akuma's finish move from the Street Fighter Alpha games. Well, and Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. I mean, he uses that move when he. Beats up M. Bison. There's the uh, the new characters, and they're quite frankly not very memorable. I can't, I don't know their names. I think one of them's name is Toji, and one is Ben or something like that. But, I mean, they're pretty cool. But, again, you don't see a lot of fan art for those guys for a reason. We're fighting uh, Hayato, the gym teacher. He uses a kendo stick. Now, Sakura and Hinata are friends in this game, and they do play pretty similar. It's really a shame that uh, there are not more rival schools games. That's not good. Uh, you know, despite the fact that this game looks amazing in 3D, 
Uh, they definitely could have used more Rival Schools characters in Capcom's numerous 2D fighting games. They did use, as previously stated, Kyosuke in uh, Capcom vs. SNK 2. And uh, one of Kyosuke's um, moves does feature Batsu and Hinata. However, it is uh, unfortunate that they didn't include more of these characters. Uh, on second thought, I think Batsu is in uh, Capcom vs. Tatsunoku um, for the uh, Nintendo Wii. I believe that that's the case, um, if memory serves me correctly. But nevertheless, um, you know, it's few and far between for Rival School's characters' appearances. Man, I'm low on my super moves here. I kind of squandered them. Bots, who's got super moves to spare here. Get him. Yeah, man. That's the end of me. Back suplex. See if we can win this match here. Sorry if we're not doing much talking here. It's a little late. It's been a long day. But I did want to share this review with you. A little later in the game, so the computer is upping its difficulty. is pretty typical here. Block this. No, I didn't uh, use this move very much in the last review, but we can sidestep by using uh, the uh, the right trigger buttons here. And that will be useful for a move like that. Again, if you want to be cheap, you can try to lure your opponent over to the corner and just keep spamming this kick here. Jeez. Block this. Get him. Man. I mean, this game is very good. You can see how intense the fights get here. Get him. Yes. Finishing attack. All right, very nice. So, I think we've got a uh, good, good feel for Rival Schools, uh, the Evolution disc here. So, uh, I hope you've uh, hope you've enjoyed this review. And uh, on that note, we'll uh, we'll wrap it up. So, there we have it, guys. That is Rival Schools. Uh, the Evolution Disc. So, when you pick up Rival Schools, uh, no matter what disc you play, you are guaranteed to have a quality gaming experience. Uh, the arcade version with a rich story or a uh, extra disc where you get to play uh, the great fighting with a lot of cool mini games and interesting extras. So, until next time, guys, my name's Noel. You take care and make sure you play lots of Rival Schools. Bye bye. <laughs>